Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make an aspect ratio div that is completely responsive to the screen size. So, as the screen size changes, the div's aspect ratio will remain the same. This is really cool if you're trying to make a square div and keep it square for the uh, regardless of what the screen size is. And it's actually really easy to do, and I just found a method that makes it really easy to do. Um, and you really don't even need to know how to code to get it done. Um, I'm going to be using the Oxygen Builder in this tutorial to show you how it works, but you can use these methods in any website that you're using, uh, and it's really simple and easy to get done. So first, here's an example of um, these fixed aspect ratios so you can kind of get a visual understanding of what I'm going for. So this is a square, and this is 16 by 9. This is, I think, 4 by 3 or 3 by 4, and this is... I don't know, but um, each of these images is that same ratio. So I know for a fact this image is sized at um, 1600 pixels wide by 900 pixels tall. And because of the aspect ratio, the div that it's, it's in, it's a background image for this div. Um, the div has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Um, so because it's an image, a background image that's covering in the div, it remains perfectly fit in the div regardless of what our screen size is. So this is pretty cool because it just remains standard as the screen changes. And you can see text per scale. Um, that text is a fixed size. That is a fixed 50 pixels tall. So because it's 50 pixels tall, the um, you can see that the text isn't changing, but everything else, it's keeping that aspect ratio the same. But um, everything is changing in the aspect ratio is just staying the same. Here's another, just another example of all of these are squares in an aspect ratio of one by one. And as you push the screen down, they keep their aspect ratio as squares. So um, now let me show you how to actually make it and how it works. First, all of this code is, is taken directly from a CSS Tricks article. CSS Tricks is a great place to get, you guessed it, CSS Tricks. So this huge article discusses how to make aspect ratio boxes. The tried and true method is by using a um, bottom padding or a top padding, uh, using CSS calculations to calculate it to that ratio. And if you want to learn more about how it actually works, you can read in here. But there is a cool snippet of code, complete CSS, no JavaScript, at the bottom of this article that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. And here you can see by using custom CSS properties, so the aspect ratio property, which is a custom property that's set up using the code that we're going to be pasting into our site, you can take it, throw it into a style attribute on the actual HTML element, uh, specify your ratio, and you're good to go. So this is really cool and makes it really easy to set up fixed aspect ratios such as a square div in any website and especially in oxygen it's an easy thing to do so here's the code and to get it to work on our website we just need to add this code to our website so on oxygen builder I'm gonna go into the back end and the first thing I'm going to do is take this code there's a link in the description to this article as well as my article on my blog which has this code in it and it's specifically written for oxygen and we're gonna paste it into a style sheet if you're not using oxygen you can throw it into any style sheet that applies to the front end of your website. So you go to style sheets, just add a new one and then throw it in here. Um, and this is just one of the methods, many methods that you can use to, uh, to add this feature. Then we're going to go ahead and set up our aspect ratio. To do that, we're going to go to advanced and then under advanced, we're going to go to attributes and then set a style attribute and then just add the aspect ratio that we want. So as you can see in this example, this is a square box. So the aspect ratio is one to one. Um, these these are calculated ratios, which is just really cool because it it calculates what your screen width is. And as the screen collapses, it, it maintains its ratio um, while everything else does not and everything else changes. Um, so for example, if I wanted this box to not be a square box and I wanted it to be a very wide box, I would do a two to one ratio. So the width is two to the height of being one. Um, if I wanted it to be even wider, I'd do three to one and now it's a three to one box. And all of these are just positioned using CSS grid. So that's why they are like that. 
And as you will expect on the front end, it changes and remains uh, that standard ratio as we move up and down responsive screen sizes, keeps that ratio. So just a really cool code snippet and effect for a website. I use this a lot for square thumbnails and blogs. So if I have square thumbnails and blogs, um, using this method, it's great to uh, throw a thumbnail into the background image using a data tag. So I can throw in a featured image, uh, make it set it to be a thumbnail, and that will just remain a square image as we move up and down screen sizes. And it will keep its aspect ratio standard regardless of what the screen size is. So to uh, recap really quickly, if you want to add an aspect ratio div to your site, all you need to do is get a div in the site. And one thing I left out is that the div has to have a width of 100%. So it has to just have 100% width. And this width can, it, it doesn't matter what uh, the 100% is. So I mean, if it's 100% of its main container and that main container is 100% of the page, this will remain 100% square. Uh, so we add our 100% width, then we just paste in our CSS, which calculates the padding bottom that we need and automatically applies it to the element. And then in that specific element, we're gonna go to advanced attributes and simply add style and then say aspect ratio and then set the aspect ratio to be whatever we want. So again, really quickly to illustrate what we can do here, I can make this five to three. So a width of five to a height of three, and that will remain standard as we move up and down the page. Even as things get bigger and smaller, that keeps its aspect ratio. So just a really cool trick that I wanted to share with you guys. You can use it on any website, but Oxygen makes it easy by adding these attributes uh, and other features. Just add in the code copied from the article linked in the description below add it to your site and then use your aspect ratio um, attribute, style attribute on any element that you want to have an aspect ratio and you should be good to go. All right, I'll see you in the next video. If you like this, give it a like. If you like the content on this um, video platform, video channel, give it a subscription. It keeps me pushing out new content every couple of days. All right, I'll see you in the next video.